Hi, I would like to show you what you have to do so that in PHP Storm, whenever you save a file, it will look beautiful. So for example, here we have very ugly code and if I press save, everything looks nice. Let me show you how this works. So as a first step, we need to download PHP CS Fixer um, from the Git repository. You find the link in the video description. So if you have Linux or Mac, you can use, uh, you can install it as instructed here. Otherwise, if you use Windows, you should use Composer. So, um, so in my case, I have Ubuntu. So all I have to do is just download the file. Um, okay, it's not working. Let's try it again. Okay, awesome. Now it works. So uh, I have this PHP CS Fixer file here. And now the second thing is we need to change the mod. Um, done that. So, oh, and just to show you, PHP CS Fixer, right? The comment is not found. And now I have to move it into um, my user local folder. And now it works. Awesome. So I have set up PHP CS Fixer and you should install it too and make sure that it works. So now that we have PHP Fixer in place, we can beautify this code. So I can beautify this code simply by calling PHP CS Fixer, then call fix and then the path to the directory. So in my case, this is in the websites. Um, back office app test PHP. If I call PHP CS Fixer, then if I refresh my editor, you can see it has beautified the code or fixed the code. But um, there are some other settings that I would like to add as well, like removing the blank lines. For that, I use a configuration file where I have specified no extra blank lines. You can have also a lot of extra options that I also would like during the fix. Um, I recommend to, to use such a configuration file. Uh, you can find a link to a GitLab GIST from me in the video description. And uh, it's also useful if you work in a team and you all want to make sure that you stick to the same style guides. So all I need to do is I need to specify here in config where my config uh, file lies. And this is in websites, back office, and then it's php cs dist. So let's see if he applied it. Yes, and the blank lines are gone. So um, this is how you can do it over the command line. But of course, we don't want to do it each time over the command line. To apply these changes on every save, we need to go to our settings. Whoops. And then to tools. And here, file watchers. And I will add a new file watcher, which is a custom one. And I will call it PHP CS Fixer. It should be applied to PHP files. And scope is the current file. So the program is, of course, PHP CS Fixer. But I need to specify the path, right? So um, we have just moved it into this directory, so I have to specify this here. Okay, the arguments are of course fixed. And now uh, the directory of the file, I can use um, environment variables from, whoops, uh, from PHP storms. This is file dir for the file directory. And then we have file name. And uh, yeah, I don't want to trigger it then. So this is all I have to do. So let us see if it works. I press save. Oh, I need to make a change probably. Press save. And yes, it works. So, okay, this would not work because I would break the code functionality. But if I press save now, it gets beautified. But what about the configuration file? We want to apply this as well. So, we let me open this again and we need to pass the config file here. 
and the config file will be in my um, project file directory so I can again use php storm variable file deal project file deal and in here it's php cs dot dist so let's see again if I save this time my configuration file will be applied as well so awesome that's all you need to do to set it up and I hope it helped you thanks and for watching and goodbye